I want to look at uh, some measurements of case neck thickness. Now, of all the dimensions of a cartridge case, one of the most critical for accuracy is the thickness of the neck. If the projectile isn't centered in the bore when you first fire the shot, the projectile will be pushed to you know one side or the other, starts its path down the barrel uh, out of out of center and uh, that's disastrous for accuracy. So if you've got a uniform case neck thickness, then you've got a much better chance to get an accurate uh, reload. So what I use for this is this case neck thickness uh, micrometer from Aussie Straight Shooter. Okay, we switch it on. It's very simple to use. Um, and it measures in millimeters or thousandths of an inch. Okay, so you can select. We'll work in thousandths of an inch because that's what most people are familiar with. And it's a spring loaded uh, device, so it's really easy to use. Now, the anvil here is round, so it'll fit inside small uh, necks like a 223, like that. Okay, we can get a measurement. Now this particular case, what is it? It's a uh, Remington. Uh, let's see, it's got, there's no, ninth hour. We go, just go around the case, 11th hour, 13 and a half hour. So this, this neck would really need to be um, cleaned up a bit. It's to be turned to bring it to uniform diameter. Because you can see, look there, it's 12 thou there, 13 and a half there, 12 and a half, 9 and a half there. So it's not a very uniform case neck on this particular case. But if we look at another one, um, here is a, um, a Turkish uh, MKE case. I think they're usually reasonable. We got 15 and a half, 15 and a half, 15, 14 and a half to 15. Yeah, so you're dealing with a much more uniform uh, neck in this one. Very easy to use. And that's what you do. You just, just snap it on the case, on the neck, move it around uh, a few different locations. And it gives you a pretty good idea whether or not you've got to turn your necks. Now, a lot of other, some other types of uh, of tube micrometers, uh, where you you have to turn the micrometer with your fingers, are a lot more difficult to use, a lot slower. This is is really easy. This is a Winchester case. It's a bit thinner neck, but it's pretty good, pretty uniform. These are three oh eights. Okay, now another interesting thing that you can do with a case is you can cut cut the base off it. And then you can put the micrometer in from the other end and you can have a look at the wall thickness of your case. Now, while this isn't as critical for accuracy, it still gives you an idea about how uh, precisely made your cases are. And if you're comparing different brands of uh, brass, of course, there is a taper to it, so you've got to keep it in... Uh, the same position when you go around the case. But some cases, if you look at them and you've cut the bases off, you can see that it, the uniformity is very poor. And uh, so it just gives you a, a better way to, to study the brass to see if it's uh, a quality product you're using or not. Okay, so that's it. The, uh, this type of tube thickness micrometer is, I believe, superior, easy to use, quick. You can measure millimetres or thousands of an inch and uh, it's just simple.